Which one of these programs do you want to start? Choose Begin to start this program. Remember, you should work out five days a week and rest any two days. Five workouts a week is all you need to get an A-list body. Here's a look at today's workout. Hi, I'm Harley Pasternak. I've developed this program to tone, tighten, and shape your body within a few weeks. People are going to compliment you, you're going to look at yourself in the mirror, and you won't believe that it's your body. So, get ready to change for the good. Stand in front with your body facing towards the Kinect sensor. Make sure you appear green on the mat. Follow along with the arrows as they appear on screen. All right, are you ready for today's workout? I know I am. Now clear the space around you and make sure you've got plenty of room to work out safely. We're going to start with a warm-up, do some strength exercise, and finish it off with some cardio to cool down. Along the way, I'll be checking to make sure you're following, doing the exercises properly. Get ready for an awesome workout. Let's get started. Let's get the body moving by going into a nice jog. All right, so we're going to keep the weight on the toes. going to keep pumping those elbows and arms forward and back. Now, for me, visualization is a big tip on this one. Picture yourself somewhere that you really want to be. Is it a beach? Is it a forest? Is it running up a mountain? And visualize yourself jogging towards something. And keep swinging your arms, feel your heart rate slowly getting up there. And when it's up there, keep it up there. You don't have to sprint. There's nowhere you're in a rush to get. It's just about keeping your body moving forward. Keep yourself light on your toes, head up, swing those elbows, feel yourself breathe throughout this exercise. You can also feel yourself a little bit of twisting through your midsection. Activate your core. Keep going and swing in your arms. Now, for me, it's about a beach. I like jogging down that beach, looking out towards the ocean on the right-hand side as I keep swinging my arms back and forth. You've got 15 seconds left. Keep going. Push yourself straight through this one. Drive yourself towards the end. Keep pumping those arms, lifting those knees up. You've got five seconds, and you're almost there. Keep going. Three, two, one, and done. Jumping jacks. All right, now, this is a great cardio movement when you do this because you're working your upper body, your lower body. You're bringing blood to the shoulders. You're bringing blood to the abductors or the abductors, those hip muscles on the outside. Quads, we're bringing blood to the knees, to the hips, and it is really intense. You probably feel your heart rate getting up right now. You feel your blood pumping. You feel that fat beating partition from your skin, from your muscles, from your organs. Your body core temperature is getting up. And you want to think about the two positions as you do this when you do the jumping jacks. You're creating the letter X and you're creating the letter I. So here we are in the letter X and back to the letter I as you do this. Keep going through these. And as you do these, you can have a little fun with them. You know, if you just want to kind of rotate as you do these, that's okay to do. Up and down, breathe through them. Don't stop. And also, listen to your body. If your joints hurt, jump a little lower. If, you're jump, if your, your knees or your ankles hurt, maybe just move that upper body. You're almost there. Keep pushing through it. You've got five, four, three, two, one more, and relax. All right, let's warm up our core with some trunk crosses. Now, here's what I love about this exercise. What you're going to do is you're going to cross your body, bring your opposite elbow to your opposite knee. As we bring it back and across our body, we keep twisting and squeezing through our core and our midsection. 
we're going to be using a few different abdominal exercises here and a few different muscle groups at the same time. So every time we bring it back and across our body, you're going to feel your obliques, which are the sides or the love handle area. You're also going to feel the rectus abdominis, which are the abs in your front. But most importantly, we're going to be using a midsection muscle called the transverse abdominis. It's also called your corset muscle. And it's involved in twisting or rotation of the trunk. And every time that we come across our body and we bring your opposite knee to our opposite elbow, make sure you're twisting your body in opposite directions. So as your lower body twists right, your upper body twists left and vice versa. Keep going. Keep yourself twisting through your body. Strong core, strong midsection. Keep your heart rate elevated. Listen to your body and feel your body getting leaner. Five seconds on four, three, two, one, and done. All right, this one's an ode to my youth growing up in Canada playing ice hockey. It's called Ice Skaters. Cardio kick butt, here we go. Cross your body, tap the ground. Cross your body, tap the ground. Now, this movement not only is a great cardio movement, but I'm not going to lie, you will feel your legs. You will feel your hips. You will feel your butt as you do this exercise. Now, from a variety perspective, build yourself up to this. At first, maybe you can't go as far across your body. Maybe it's modified. Maybe you just bring it a little bit across your body. And maybe instead of touching the ground every rep, maybe you're actually coming close to the ground. And as you become better at these, you can pick up the pace a bit. You can actually touch the ground and reach your back leg further across the room and when you cross those planes you get to work so many butt and hip muscles that you normally don't work your regular squats and regular lunges keep going feel that heart rate rise we're going to do a couple more each side we're almost there tap it out and relax you are a touch slow on this exercise now let's see if we can increase the pace next time all right Lie on the ground with your body facing sideways towards the Kinect sensor. Make sure you appear green on the mat. All right, this is called the chest fly. It's kind of like hugging a barrel. You want to imagine when you're laying on your back that you've got a barrel on your chest and you're going to hug around the barrel. This works the chest muscle primarily, so you're going to feel your chest stretch on the way out and contract on the way down. Let's get down on the ground. All right, grab your gear. <laughs> Arms up to the ceiling, elbows slightly bent. We're going to feel stretch and contraction as you do this exercise. Now, you don't wanna to have too much of a bend in your elbow because if you have too much of a bend in your elbow, you're gonna hit the ground too early in the movement. You also wanna make sure that you're not too straight and rigid because that could put a lot of stress on your shoulder and on your bicep tendon. So as we fly through these, the elbows are slightly bent as we're opening and we're contracting. Primary muscle group here, the pectoralis major, or the chest muscles. So it's really an isolation movement. It's not a push-up movement that's chest, but also a lot of shoulders and a lot of triceps. This one is mainly chest, a little shoulder, and a little bicep. So let's keep moving through these. Feel a stretch and open and close. We've got 10, 9, 8, Seven, keep feeling that stretch as you move through the final five, four, three, two, and one. And there we have it.
Really? Is that the best you've got? Try and put more effort in. All right? Stand in front with your body facing towards the Kinect sensor. Make sure you appear green on the map. Probably the best overall lower body exercise you could do is the squat. It is such a simple thing. It's basically sitting down and standing up. Now, this time, we're going to do it without anything to sit on. You're going to have your feet shoulder width apart, your head up, and arms at your side, down towards your heels, and back up again. Just imagine you're going to sit in an imaginary chair that's not even there. Are you ready? You've got your position. Feet shoulder width apart, head up, arms at your side, and down and up. Now, as you do this exercise, listen to your body, okay? If it's your first few times doing this, don't worry about going too deep. As you become a little fitter, and as your flexibility gets better, you're gonna be able to bring your butt straight down to your knees and back up. You don't need to go below your knees, but you definitely wanna come as close as you can to your knees. Keep squeezing. You're gonna feel your thighs burning, your butt burning, and the muscles that you're working are all the muscles in the front of the thigh. Those are your quadriceps. Quad means four. There's four heads of those. You're working your glutes or your butt. You're working a little hamstrings. You're getting your heart rate burning. Good, keep going, keep pushing yourself. Don't stop, keep that head up. Don't let the weight fall all the way to your toes. Try to keep your weight right in the middle of your foot on your arch. Feel yourself drive through your heels on the way up. And the more you drive through your heels, the more it's your butt. Three more reps, keep pushing yourself. You're almost there. Two, and I'm gonna do the last one with you. And up. You were a little slow on this exercise. Now let's see if we can increase the pace next time, okay? Lie on the ground with your body facing sideways towards the Kinect sensor. Make sure you appear green on the mat.